Good morning. Nice to see you again. Today I brought a few objects with me. Um, I brought a pair of scissors and a piece of paper and I brought a great big rock. Now, each of these things are useful in, the, in their own way. If I wanted to write a letter, I would use a piece of paper. If I wanted to write a short letter, I would use the scissors to cut the paper in half. Now, if I were really, really thirsty, I wouldn't use the scissors. No, I wouldn't use the paper. And um, here's the rock. Yeah, I think choose the rock. Right now, you've got to be thinking, this is how Getty, you've lost your mind, haven't you? And no, boys and girls, I haven't. There's a time in the Bible where Moses used a rock to bring water to his people. Now, if you remember correctly, Moses had led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, and they wandered and wandered in the desert. And the people got really thirsty, and you know a desert doesn't have a lot of water in it. People got thirsty, the animals got thirsty, the people got madder and madder, and finally they came to Moses and they said, Hey, look, Moses, you led us out of Egypt, and, and we're kind of mad about that. We could have stayed in Egypt and... The, at least we were slaves there, but at least we always had something to drink. And Moses said, hey, guys, wait just a minute. Okay, I'll be right back. And Moses went into his tent and fell down on his knees and started praying. And he said, God, what am I supposed to do? And God said, hey, Moses, don't worry. I got this covered. He said, just take your staff and go outside. And when I tell you to, hit that rock. So Moses went outside. He called all the people. He said, come on here. I want to show you something. And everybody came and got around Moses. And Moses said, Watch this. And he took his staff and he hit that rock. And all of a sudden water started gushing forth and there was enough water for everybody to drink their fill. And the animals had all they wanted of the water too. Moses thought, wow, our God is a God of possibilities. With him, nothing is impossible. You know, we could learn a lot from Moses. When faced with an impossible situation, he didn't just sit there and go, oh me, oh my, what am I going to do? No, he went to God in, in prayer and he said, God, I need your help. And God answered him, boys and girls, we can do the same thing. When we have a problem, let's take it to the God, to our God in prayer and say, God, I really need your help too. We have a God of possibilities. With him, nothing is impossible. Let's thank him for this. Dear Lord, thank you for always having our back and being our God, a God with possibilities. Thank you so, so much. In Jesus' name, amen. If you enjoyed this story today, boys and girls, you know, you could find a lot more of great stories in the Bible. All you have to do is, is read the Bible. And if you can't read by yourself yet, ask your mom and dad if they'll read them to you. If you don't have your own Bible, if a children's Bible that you can read by the, yourself, have your mom or dad contact me. My number's in the church directory, and I will, bring, I will make sure that you get your own personable children's Bible, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.